action. Okay, cells. Now, once again, I'm going to take this out to explain this. We know this as a battery. We are wrong. This is not a battery. This is a cell. One of this is a cell. Two or more of this is called a battery. Inside a car, inside a car battery, you find six, six. different cells. That's why it's called a battery, because it's more than one cell. So, does everyone understand that this is a cell? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, one of this is a cell. Now, cells are, I'm going to ask you in the test, what is a cell? Explain to me what is a cell. Cells are a source of energy. Okay? A cell has, can you just speak with me? A cell has a positive and a negative terminal. Okay, now, did you guys see there's a plus and a minus on cells? Yes, yes. Okay, the plus is what they call the positive terminal. The minus is what they call the negative terminal. Say positive terminal. Positive terminal. Negative terminal. Negative terminal. Okay, right. A cell is used as a power source. Okay, obviously. A cell is a power source. Needed in, please sit still, machines that are carried around or not plugged in. We all know this. Batteries are put into things that we carry around. Um, can you give me an example? Like a what? A phone. Uh, a phone has a battery. It doesn't look like this, but it has a battery because we carry it around and it's not plugged into electricity. So anytime that something is not using electricity, it's most probably using a battery. Okay, or in this case, a cell. Yes, Gabby? A wireless charger. A wireless charger. So anything wireless, okay, anything that we don't plug in usually uses a battery, okay? If we look at the clock there at the back, how does that clock work? Okay. With the back? With the battery. So Why? Because it's not plugged into the main electricity and it can be carried around. That is when we use cells, okay? When we use more than one cell together, more than one cell together, we call it a battery. And then this is the example that I just mentioned. A car, a car battery has six cells. That's why we can call it a battery because there's more than one cell in it, okay? So, cells. If I ask you what is a cell or what do we use a cell for, what is the purpose of a cell, then you say it's a source of energy, okay? To elaborate on a cell, you can say it has a positive and a negative terminal. If I ask you when do we use a cell or in what situation do we use a cell, then you say it's a power source for machines that can be carried around or things that are not plugged into the main electricity. More than one cell is called a? More than one cell is called a? Thank you. Pause right there. And I will make